Good evening, ladies and gents. We come to you with results from our first attempt at the trial to plex conversion. Now, I would like to go over and see you all of what we've gone through. Now, first we started mission running with some lovely agents. Where are my agents? Click, click, click. All different things. We start. We started with the trial agent Aura, then we switched into some other lovely agents. Oh, there's a storyline. So we went into military, and then we went into security. And, well, that was a storyline mission. Then we went we went to level 1 security, we ran level 2s. And to my knowledge, level 2s is the highest that we can run on a trial account. It is best, it is okay to run them in destroyers. It would be easier to run them in cruisers. We were having difficulty with some of the missions in a destroyer with being able to tank damage. Now, uh, after... That was, we did that for days one through four. We did missions. Um, after doing some calculations, realizing we might not be able to make it on missions, or else it would take, be such a time sink that, I mean, it's possible, it's definitely possible to make money off missions or mining if you want to go mining too. It just it takes a little bit more time. It is a little more of a guaranteed way, as many of the other ways of gaining is going to eve are, or at least the ways of gain is quickly, generally are not very stable ways there's not so many guaranteed you can either have to be very good at something or it just kind of just chance that, it, that you, like the circumstances work out in your favor now so that was days one through four we went to missions days five through eight we went salvaging in low sec out here in low sec one of our favorite spots was tama which should be right there uh we ended up what was it we ended up a little further away from Tama during our our lovely times out in Nosek. Where is it? Where did we end up? No, set it. We ended up by here somewhere. We are here in the Black Rise somewhere. Is this one? No. It was close though. It was over here. No, never mind. Anywho, we spent days five through eight out in Losec and Nullsec scavenging. And we did run across a small jackpot where we had several elite frigates where we scavenged from. And we made several, not even just several, but tens of millions of isk out there. But we didn't get to put a whole lot of time into that. And we wanted to try a couple more things, uh, including some passive income, such as station trading, which I had open when we started the video. Pop open, pop open all of our inventory. And you can see I've set up an order for tormentors. Um, at this point in time, you would not be able to access a trial account. So I decided instead to just pay for the account. Um, I have some plans for this account. I hope to use this account along in the future, along with a couple of tutorials I'm hoping to put out uh, as we can go along here. Now, so for day nine, it was station trading. Day 10 was kind of just a continuation of some salvaging, some station trading. Um, days 11 through 12, we kind of discussed planetary interaction. Now, with planetary action, in fact, I have not had a chance to go mess with this yet. On a trial account, we can only have one planet. We cannot upgrade our command centers. We're pretty much restricted to either getting raw materials um, or getting processed materials. Is this set properly? Set our scan on here. But there's really not much we can do um, as far as planetary interaction and further along in the game you can make a lot of money on planetary interaction you can pay for your plex every month through planetary interaction if you're set up correctly maybe not necessarily correctly but if you're set up efficiently enough which usually requires being in uh, low sec or null sec or even better yet in wormholes you can get even higher numbers off that all right so if you go in here there's no extra in there we've got a little bit in here uh, 250, which is a grand total of 660 child structures. 660 by the market isn't much. Oh, well. So, that was days 11 through 12. Days 13 and 14 were more kind of everything day. We went through a little more PI. We went through a little more station trading. We flew around a little bit. On day 15, pretty much the last week of the trial, we spent it out in faction warfare. That's not faction warfare. That's the insurance. Militia office. This tells us our faction warfare, how many points we have set out currently, uh, how we're doing according to everything. It tells us the systems that we're fighting. Ooh, fighting over. Miri. 
I can't remember where we were. I know the system. Inia was where we were based out of. Iha was next to us. Pavak Pavaknaga was next to us. Avion was next to us. Asaki was two jumps off, I do believe. Anywho, so those, those are some of the things we were going for and are working with. And you can see self systems are vulnerable. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Anywho. So that was the last week we spent with Faction Warfare. We do have a number. In fact, where are my loyalty points? Those on here. Statistics. Uh, me. Victory points. Last week, victory points total. Corporation. No, it doesn't tell me that. And so it doesn't tell me exactly. I can't off find them. Eh, journal. Well, I wasn't journal. Whoops. Maybe, yep, loads of points. State Protectorate, we have 33,000. At 45,000, we'd be able to turn a cruiser into a faction cruiser, and the faction cruisers that we were looking at selling were selling for about 80 million ISK. And you could procure 45,000 LP easily within a day. Um, so theoretically, it, you could do this in 10 days on faction warfare. Um, again, that requires skills to not die in low sec. Uh, you wouldn't be able to necessarily do it in 10 days. You have to be able to buy the cruisers, which you probably have to buy like 15 of them, which it's quite a price. Let's go peek at it super quick while I'm doing math in my head that is incompetent. Kaldari, we were looking at specifically, maybe it wasn't cruisers, maybe it was battle cruisers we were looking at. Hmm. Look at faction cruisers. Double check. Yeah, it was Caracal. Um, Caracals are selling for 70. Ospreys are selling for 63. So you make 70 million off each of those. Whoops, I don't want that. I don't care. Kaldari, come in. We have to buy one for, let's say, 10. You end up buying it for 10 million each. You can buy it a little bit cheaper. So you'd make 60 million, so you could do it in 11 days, given you were able to make that much LP that quickly plus you have to buy another thing um it's a chip where is it i have one of my assets somewhere over in india a caldari cu tac one nexus chip which is worth three million each so you really only make about 57 million 10, 12 13 days you can almost do it on a two-week trial at that rate if you were able to get enough lp points per day and you can take a day off but this if you're attempting to make a plex within a free trial uh, either a 14 or 21 day free trial, you're going to end up spending a lot of time on EVE. And I would hope that you would spend a lot of time looking up how to's, looking up tutorials, intro videos, look at the EVE background for story law, for inspiration, of course. Um, I would highly recommend going and watching the EVE video. Um, or if you just download the the browser, not the browser, the game client itself, it'll send you through the current intro video. Uh, you can also look this up on YouTube if you don't want to waste time as soon as you order your free trial. My personal recommendation, due to the limits of the free trial, I would recommend getting a 21-day free trial. There will be a link down in the description for such things. And I would say to pay for your first month if you have the opportunity. Someone did point out you could work like two hours at a minimum wage job and get enough money to pay for E for a month. Some people aren't even old enough to work minimum wage jobs yet. But it's $15 for a month. And after that, you may be able to run on plexes afterwards. Um, a lot of that requires a lot of kind of grinding time for ISK, and which can turn people off because it kind of becomes a job you have to keep up with in order to make sure you can keep playing your game. Um, it really isn't that much money. And if it really is that much money for you, go for it. Go for the plex. If your time is worth that, go for it. But there's only so much you can do. What is this? No, that was wrong. Sorry. Sorry, I have to go check this. Counterfeit Mimitar Faction Ammo. Interesting. I did not know that existed. Example of Eve and how big and broad it is. I'd like to thank you guys for stopping around. It looks like our total for ISK, when we take into account our assets and our market orders, you're looking at about 43 million ISK. Um, I have about another 4 million ISK in a different station. Uh, where I was working with some stuff. Uh, that CU Nexus chip was almost all of that. So we're looking about having about 43 million 
after buying several ships, we had to refit these. This, these ships cost me about a million and a half to two million each to fit. Um, the destroyers are more. They're like three million. Anywho, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. And keep tuned in. We're going to try to run some tutorial videos later this week and in all the coming days. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you again for stopping in. This has been Attempt 1 at Trial to Plex Conversion.